The Irish lads were still coolly dribbling the football towards the German trenches. The enemy fired wildly, but they couldn't clearly see us yet, thank God. By the German entanglements, our men were seen by the enemy for the first time. Deadly petrol bombs and hand grenades landed amongst us as we drove on. Suddenly, the German trenches gave way. Our men poured in. By the time I arrived, the worst of the fighting was over. Our dead lay at peace with their former enemies. I tried to tend to the dying, but too many had fallen. People will wonder why someone like myself, an Irishman and a professed socialist, volunteered to fight. Maybe we believed that we were following a higher calling, that the war was being fought not just for king and country. Ireland would take her place as a small nation. But that was largely talk by the politicians. As young men, we were impatient for change and war would certainly deliver that. Gas, gas, gas! Gas, gas! Gas surrounded me like a cloak, warm and stifling. 